Supporters of President Trump also took to the streets of South Florida as well. From Doral to Little Havana, a caravan waving Trump flags. But unlike the crowd in the nation's capital, the demonstration here was very peaceful. NBC6 reporter Steve Litz is live in Little Havana with a look. Steve? And hi, Jackie. Boy, it was lively out here in Little Havana earlier today for about 90 minutes. Much quieter now, but Jackie, as you know, when Miami's Cuban American community wants to come out and make a statement, they often head right to Versailles here. And so such was the case earlier today. Dozens of supporters uh, out here supporting and saluting their outgoing commander in chief. From Washington, D.C. to Doral to the streets of Miami. Supporters of President Trump making a statement today convinced based on no evidence that something went wrong with the presidential election last month. We expect to show everyone that we're still here, that we're still present. I'm still here to support my country more than anything to support voter integrity in our country. South Florida was also represented at the rally up in Washington. Oh, boy, I wouldn't miss this for anything in the world. With Anna Cohen from Boca Raton shooting this picture in the middle of the masses, telling me she wouldn't miss today's opportunity to vent her feelings. So all of these people came today in support of America, in support of what it is that we stand for and represent as a democracy. And, uh, and that's what we want. We, we are a free and open society where the people decide who it is that will lead us. Today's caravan was reminiscent of the rallies that led up to the election. Big crowds, big flags, and big support for President Trump. In Washington today, greeting his faithful with this message. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. One of the most powerful Republicans in government, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, breaking with the president and advocating a peaceful transfer of power. The voters, the courts, and the states have all spoken. If we overrule them, it would damage our republic forever. And as Jackie said, these were peaceful protests here in Miami. And given that Inauguration Day is still two weeks out, 14 days away, there's a chance we'll see more protests here in South Florida. Reporting live from Little Havana tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News. Okay.